The All Too Cup is a V-shaped silicone menstrual cup, which is available in three different sizes. Model 1 and Model 2, which are a small and a large, and a low cervix version. To avoid any toxins or dyes, they did go with a frosted white or semi-translucent finish. The Altu Cup is made with 100% healthcare grade silicone and is manufactured in the USA. Today I'm going to do an unboxing or an unbagging of the Altu Cup and show you what you get, as well as take you down to the table to do a walkthrough of each of the three sizes. If you're interested in hearing more about the Altu Cup, stay tuned. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. Any websites, links, or discount codes that I might have at this time will be in the description below. If you find anything helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So the Ultu Cup company wanted to keep down their carbon footprint and went with a 100% recyclable packaging. The starter guide that's included is also printed on recycled paper with plant-based inks. The Altu Cup storage bag is 100% US grown and is made out of a breathable virgin cotton. The Altu Cup is iOS certified and has an FDA registration. Let's go down to the table and take a look at the three sizes of the Altu Cup. Just as a note, these are my own measurements. They're unofficial and not from the company. The low cervix Altu cup measures 59 millimeters in total length. Without the stem, it measures 47 millimeters. It has a 42 millimeter diameter, and this cup holds 26 milliliters to the top of the rim. The Model 1 Altu cup measures 70 millimeters in total length, 56 millimeters without the stem, it has the same diameter as the low cervix cup, which is 42 millimeters, and holds 30 milliliters to the top of the rim. The Model 2, which is the largest size that the Altu cup has to offer, is the same length as the Model 1. The total length, again, is 70 millimeters, 56 millimeters without the stem. The diameter on the Model 2 is 44 millimeters, and the capacity to the top of the rim is 40 milliliters. Starting with the stem, it is a short stick style stem. It is a solid piece of silicone. It does move, but it does have a little bit of firmness behind it. The tip of the short stem does widen a little bit, not quite a ball, but it does help your fingers from sliding off of the end. There's a very little bit of stretch to it, but it is a short stem, so you're not going to be able to stretch it too far. There are a couple of steps where the stem meets the base of the cup. I wouldn't really call these grip rings, but there are three grip rings right uh, above or below that. These grip rings aren't really pronounced and they are rounded off. They did include a nice piece of meat at the base of this cup, so if you need to trim the stem completely off, you can do so, as well as file down just a little bit into um, a couple of these grip rings. You can see here where my nail stops, and that is where that little um, piece of seal or extra meat is located. They did include a nice secondary rim. It's got a really smooth transition. For those of you that have um, sensitivity issues, this should help um, because that transition is very slight. However, it still gives a nice bit of firmness in that area to help this cup open. The only seam to mention on the Altu cup is on the outside of the rim but they did clean this up to be nice and smooth. There are four air holes equally spaced around the cup right underneath the rim, and these are on the smaller side of medium, I would say. Here's my pencil tip so that you can get a good gauge. There are no markings on the outside of this cup, but on the inside it is branded with their name, Altu Cup. 
as well as Made in USA. The Model 1 and 2 have number indicators for their size, and the low cervix reads Mini. And all three of the Altu cups have measurement lines and numbers in ounces and milliliters. What I found with these three different sizes is that the low cervix cup is a little bit more firm than the Model 1 or the smaller size, and the Model 1 is also a little bit more firm than the largest size or Model 2. When I used the Diva Cup, I did experience cramping. Uh, it's just the combination, the size, the shape, the length, the firmness. Uh, is something just didn't work with me, which caused me to cramp. But uh, with these cups being a little bit softer, even though the size and shape are very similar, I didn't have any cramping with any of the sizes of the Altu cup. So if the Diva Cup uh, shape and size worked for you, but you're looking for something a little softer, these might be a really good option. The finish on this cup is frosted. It has a little bit of grippiness to it, and this is dry, but if I uh, press my fingers onto the cup and pull, you'll see that they don't slide off really easily. Since these are V-shaped cups and they are on the longer side, the Model 1 and Model 2 would probably be more comfortable for someone who has a medium to high cervix. And if you have a medium to low cervix, you probably will be more comfortable with the low cervix version. I personally prefer the Model 2, which is a larger size, and that's because of the capacity. I also really like the low cervix size, although my cervix uh, fluctuates from being medium uh, to high. I find it nice and comfortable when I don't need that huge capacity. And in my experience, I'm still able to reach it easily to remove it. If you are unsure of which size to get, they do have some typical guidelines that you can follow. One thing that I did find really nice that they had included inside of their pamphlet is, I'm sorry, I'm looking at it, is um, about replacing the cup. And it says to inspect your cup regularly for signs of deterioration, such as a sticky or powdery film and severe discoloration, odor, and if you experience irritation. Uh, not every cup company includes that information, especially about the sticky or powdery film. So this sticky powdery film that they speak of will not wash away. It'll still remain after you uh, give a good wash to your cup and or boil it. It's a sign that the silicone was compromised in one way or another. They state that it is ultimately up to the individual to decide when to replace the menstrual cup. However, they do recommend um, replacing it once a year. Well, that's all I have about the Altu cup for now. If I missed anything or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to check out all of their social media. Follow them if you aren't already. They have been having a lot of giveaways and you just might be one of those lucky winners. Also, leave me a comment down below if you picked up an Altu cup and what size it was and how it's going for you. Until I see you next time, take care.